Bangalore also called the fashion capital of India. Bangalore keeps pace with the latest trend and fashion. In fact, it's believed that the fashion for the entire country takes its birth in Bangalore. It's the youth of Bangalore who change to the latest trends in fashion in tune with international fashion. One can change the fashion changes in fashion among the youth if one goes through the famous Mahatma Gandhi Road and the Brigade Road. Along with fashion, Bangalore's love, fun, music, dance and anything in the name of entertainment. If it's good entertainment you're looking for, then it's the city you have to be. Bangalore is a regular host to many events in dance, music and other exhibitions. Bangalore is a city which not only has a large number of cinema halls but it's also famous for its nightlife. The city is full of life till late in the night with people visiting cinema halls for late night shows, disco clubs and night clubs. Bangalore has a thriving club culture. Some of its clubs have a history stretching as far back as the heydays of the British Raj. Recent times have seen the springing up of number of weekend resorts in and around Bangalore. So where you prefer outdoor activity, pop hopping, eating out, dancing or just relaxing by the pool at a swanky resort with your family. Bangalore offers you a host of choices. Hi, I'm Dishun Yang Zong and we are in Flint Studio at the moment in the heart of Bangalore, that is in Brigade Road. At the moment, we have a live photo shoot going on and the model is Nikki and we have a very renowned photographer who is Dave and who is very renowned in South India. At the moment, I'm very excited because I'm seeing the live photo shoot of the model Nikki, so I think I should go and ask some questions to her. Okay, first thing ma'am, how do you maintain your physique and what are the diets you follow to look? Or to have such a good appearance of physique? Oh well, actually, I don't really have a very you know strict diet plan or something. But uh, yes, I you know I go to the gym. I I make it a point you know once I mean four times a week to go to the gym and uh, work out. I do a lot of cardio exercises and of course freehand. And uh, yes, I you know have a proper diet plan where I have more of green vegetables and uh, of course I drink a lot of water. Did your parents have any problem when you said that you are going to step into a modeling or you are going to step into a glamour world? Did they have any problem with that? Uh, well yeah, like you know, like most of the parents in India for example if you take you know, they, they look at uh, this modeling industry like this, they, they, they've got this vulgar picture of it you know, they think uh, it is not what good girls should do. Uh, we should be become engineers, we should become doctors, but then when we tell our parents we want to become a model, for instance, they are like, no, you cannot do that because it, they think it requires a lot of exposure. Uh, we really don't uh, get the support of our parents, but then ultimately, you know, if you do the right things, you take the right way, the right route, then I guess, you know, we, we will be able to, you know, uh, finally make them agree and, uh, you know. So they'll support you at last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, being a model, so you must be having a huge fan. So how do you handle that, especially meals? Okay, I knew that was coming up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, yeah, you know, uh, when you get into the industry, of course, you inevitably have, uh, you know, fans behind you. Uh, they want to talk to you. They want to meet you. Uh, but I think the most important thing is, you know, you should be humble, not not, not proud that you know what you've achieved and what what you're on your way to. So I just asked a brigade of questions to the model Nikki, so I think very enlightened. Thank you so much for my pleasure. answering all my questions and I'm sure you will achieve more in the future and <laughs> hope to see you very happy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Dema and with me I have Mr. Dave who is one of the famous professional photographers and yes, I'm, like, I'm going to ask him a few questions. Good afternoon, sir. Um, first question, how long you have been into this profession, sir? I am into photography since last 8 years. I do a lot of ad shoots, then uh, model portfolios, a lot of uh, product shoots, all kind of photography I do. Uh, well, how is photography as a professional? Are you satisfied with it? Uh, photography actually, uh, it is 
Previously, it was my hobby since the beginning when I was in a sixth, seventh standard. That time only I started my photography. And it was a hobby and slowly, slowly my interest became more into photography. And uh, finally, I've become a photographer and I'm enjoying my photography. I'm getting a lot of work. Uh, like uh, all the international clients, national clients I have, so I'm enjoying my photography. Uh, as in like when it comes for shooting, you know, how do you communicate with your model and how you know, how you try to make your model, you know, comfortable to bring them into or to face them into a camera? Uh, what happens in uh, fashion shoot mm -hmm. models, if they are shooting first time model and she is meeting first time, okay. they are not much conscious, so they can they, they cannot open up yeah, and they cannot give more or better okay. expression. So what we do, uh, first we call them one week before to meet. Okay. First we meet them at right. general meeting and then next time again we meet uh, because we want to see their costumes. Oh. We finalize the costume before the shoot. So like two, three times we meet just for different, different purpose. Before the shoot we plan what kind of posing she is, so I give some over. So four, five times we meet. So we become uh, very friendly. Uh, well, that was Mr. Dev, a very famous photographer, and yeah, the whole interview, you know, whichever I have like asked to him was very enlightening. All right, class. How are you doing today? Very good. Good. Okay. Today we're going to talk about being a role model. Personality, as in many people have a misconception of a model, as in a fashion model, you might be having the best of height. You might be having the best of face, you might be having the best of physique, physique, alright? But no sooner you open your mouth, everything goes down this way. That's why they say people are down, especially models. Models may be having everything with them, but especially when it comes to speaking, they are lacking that. That's why I'm here to prove, I'm here to prove that models are not dumb. <coughs> I'm here in Pancho Academy and I'm, I came here to know what is teaching and what is real are learning. Hi, what's your good name? Sandeep. Okay, so why have you came, came into this Pancho Academy? I've come here to become a professional model in the modeling industry and I think Balja can help me. How long have you been into this training? Well, uh, I have been in Pancho's Academy for almost a month now. So what have you learned uh, in this one month? Well, uh, I have come across a lot of things uh, after I joined Vajos Academy. Like um, he has teaching me about uh, uh, ramp walking and uh, st uh, still shoot etiquette. And uh, we have also come across some personality development. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's uh, th still more there uh, which we have to come across. And uh, it's been a good experience being in Vajos Academy. Did Pajar ask you to change in anything before we came into this training? Yeah, there was a lot of change in our grooming wear, I mean dressing sense. He talked about a lot of uh, you know, formal wears, casual wears, ethnic wears, what goes well with what, and yes, definitely do's and don'ts of fashion. Why did you come here? I'm um, looking forward to make a career in modeling. So I came to uh, Pajar's uh, academy to enhance my personality and uh, seek help from Pajar. I have got a time to sit with Mr. Paljo and I'm going to get a few tips from him. Hello. Hi. It's a pleasant surprise to heard that you are also from the town. Yes, yes, very much. I have heard that you have been in the modeling industry since a, a long time. Seven years, seven years to be precise. Okay, so was it a very tough experience? Oh, very much tough actually. Uh, it all started off with my college fashion shows and all those things. I mostly got into college fashion shows and then I started coming up in the, the college scene. So then that's how I started off doing up with some few professional shows here and there in Bangalore so, and then that's how I applied for the Glad Rex contest and that was believe me that was more like a turning point in my career. Okay. Is there any particular quality you look into in an student before you train him or her? Uh, well, yes, I am very much particular about a student's quality, but then I come across many students who are very skinny or you know, who lack a lot of fashion sense. So what I do is, I don't, I don't plainly say no at their face, I cannot help you, because that would again, uh, you know, it would really create a problem when it comes to my philosophy of here helping students. I make sure that I say yes to each and every one of them, because I believe the impossible is possible. Even a person who looks like a loser 
Mm -hmm. I can make him a winner. That's what I believe. I'm not. I'm not trying to go blow my own trumpet in a way or two, but you know, that's what I believe. I believe the impossible is possible. Well, my message will be a very lengthy one. Okay. All I need to tell the youth is, uh, you need to be. You need to be a go-getter in life. If you have a goal, if you have a dream, you just basically will have to plan out that dream. How are you going to achieve that dream? All right? Because if, even though it may be a dream, it's not impossible. As I said earlier to uh, uh, Mr. Bindu out here, that you know, impossible is possible from my point of view. What all you need to do is you just have to put in your hard work, you just have to put in your effort, and then taking a step from step one to step two. And eventually, I'm sure if you put in that 200% of hard work into whatever you do, you're going to get, you're going to reap the benefits out of those hard work, whatever you do. So, a basic concept would be just keep your head held high, all of you, and uh, achieve what you feel you have to achieve in life. As Mr. Paljo described to us that impossibility is a possibility, we have learned that Flames Agency ignites a sense of hope in aspiring youngsters who want to take it to the world of fashion, modeling and eventually acting. Dream can just be a dream if you dream it and do nothing about it. But then, if you work on those dreams, you wouldn't be surprised in it being a reality. I'm Bindu Groom signing off.